What's up everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Today I'm gonna be doing another video on the E9X platform. If you didn't catch my last video, it'll, the link to it will be in the description box below. That video I talked about the five pros and cons of owning this car. Today, I'm gonna be talking about the five first mods you should do to it. So the first thing you should do to this car once you buy it, in my opinion, will be lowering the car. Now, if you, if you see this car with stock height, the front gap is super high. So definitely you could go two ways about it. You could either get springs, which I did, or you could go all out and get a full whole suspension on it. Now for me, doing just the springs is good enough. It drops it enough perfectly as you can see. Uh, I got the H&R Sport Springs. H&R Race Springs will drop a little bit more, but for me, the height is perfect enough for daily driving. I mean, you don't want to always be angle out, angling every time you go in and out of a driveway. To me, it's a pain. So, I highly suggest to get the H&R Sport Springs if you cannot afford the premium and getting the higher grade suspension. So, once you lower the car, I mean, the stock competition wheels that come with it are great. Now, even the regular non-competition wheels look good too. But once you once you lower the car, you want that that look so either you could go 19 inch wheels which um which are good uh in my opinion i go i go with the 18 inch with a meaty tire to give it that beefy track look um it also looks good with the car because the car is a bulby car none it uh, nonetheless uh, i do have the ec7s on here apex wheels i have a plus 25 and a 44 in the back uh, i do have i run no spacer it fits perfectly flush in the front uh, it's perfect on the back i do have a 15 mil spacer just to pull it out just so you have the body line pretty much perfect with the wheel to me it gives it a perfect uh the perfect look honestly uh, the r triple eight r's is a perfect tire i do take this car canyons um but um it's it's preference you know either you could go the michelin uh ps4s uh ps4s or for me, I just like the Archer Blade R. It's just perfect. They, you do wear them out on on the street a lot more because of the softer compound. But you know, you don't want to be swapping wheels every time you go out somewhere. So um, to me, this is the best of both worlds. Uh, so yeah, suspension, wheels, completely the first mods you should do to your car. Uh, with that being said, let's get back to the second mod. Now, the second thing you should do to the car. In my opinion, this car has one of the best sounding uh, engines from BMW. Uh, this is the S65 V8, the last asp naturally aspirated V8 engine BMW will sadly ever make. Uh, but in my opinion, this car comes, it's very quiet from the factory. And uh, you really want to hear that grumble, that V8 throaty sound. So in my opinion, the second upgrade you need to do to this car is getting an exhaust for sure. Now you do have a couple of uh, choices to you actually have a few choices to go from, uh, to choose from. Uh, in my opinion, Meister Shaft is the best sounding exhaust. Uh, you don't need a full exhaust system, honestly. You really don't. Uh, for me, I'm, I don't like the total obnoxious sounding. Uh, you could go Velvetronic, you know, so you you have the flaps that you could change it from being kind of regular, which is uh, decently loud, to completely open and you know just completely running straight pipe out the back. Uh, you could do test. Uh, you could do the test pipes on the car which a lot which frees up a lot of um, the torque as well but um if you daily drive the car you don't really want to stick out like a sore thumb to cops and i you know if you do live around a lot of people in an apartment or whatever uh you don't really want to be that person you know i run the the gts exhaust meister shaft it's my favorite uh some uh, some of the other good exhausts rpi um Acro Acropovic makes good ones um, but yeah definitely second mod 100% you need to do to this car after you get the wheel suspension get an exhaust on it you will not regret it now for the third mod uh, in my opinion once again uh, you want to put some carbon some aero type look to it uh, there's different types of aero you can choose from as far as the front end goes uh, you can get the canards on it uh, you can get the GT4 style lip that sticks out a bit or you could do the shark fangs, I call and some people call it uh, like I did. Uh, to me, the shark fangs are better. Uh, like I said, when you go out of curb, uh, when you go out of driveways and stuff, I, I'm tired of that angling thing. Uh, I did all that stuff back in the days. Now I just want more uh, 
more function, you know, uh, as a daily driver. Um, definitely you want to put some carbon stuff on, preference as usual. Uh, I go for the carbon mirror co covers, it adds a nice little look to it. When you get the competition, it already comes with the carbon fiber roof, which is completely awesome. Uh, that's why that's my favorite. Um, also, you would want to get like a rear diffuser, carbon fiber diffuser. There's many to choose from. I highly suggest try to steer away from eBay type stuff. I mean, I know uh, price obviously, but uh, definitely spending more money into the carbon uh, will definitely pay off at the end. Uh, as far as fitment and finish, as uh, fitment and finish go for sure. So for me, I've always been a fan of Vorsteiner. It is a bit more of a premium product, but like I said, once again, you do get what you pay for 100% in everything. Um, so yeah, definitely you do want to get some carbon fiber aero type stuff on the car. Uh, you could also get the side skirts, the uh, extensions, the carbon side extensions. Um, I don't have that. It's okay. Uh, for me, it's it's cool, but I, I just, I'm not too much of a fan of it. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of other carbon pieces you can get for the car. You can get a whole under tray in the back, uh, all the carbon stuff. But for me, I like to keep it semi-simple and clean. So I suggest carbon mirror caps some type of splitter up front um either the gt4 or the shark things and in the back you get a nice style type diffuser uh also one more thing uh in the back this car comes stock with the little lip spoiler for me i had to upgrade and get the carbon fiber spoiler the um what mid kick spoiler i guess you would say uh, what it is uh definitely oem uh it's best to go oem route with that the fitment is perfect and the quality is too. So like I said, you get what you pay for 100%. And with that being said, let's get to the fourth mod. Alrighty, now the fourth mod to do to this car. Um, if you guys do plan on doing any type of spirited driving, track, uh, canyon, you know, anything but basic driving, I highly suggest to get better brake pads on the car. Uh, the standard brake pads, they're not that good. Honestly, the braking system in the car is not that good. I, I really think it's uh, underpowered for this car for the size and the weight of it. But there's a couple ways uh, to avoid going all out and getting a big brake kit that costs anywhere from like eight to 12, you know, 12 grand. Um, you can go like the budget friendly route. Uh, I got pads, I, I got cold carbon pads. Uh, they're great, honestly. Um, I did have the Hawk, uh, HPS I believe what they're called um, do they sound like a freight train every time you step in and I explained in my last video um, it's not really a street friendly car uh, brake pad uh, obviously the more bite you have the louder it is the more uh, and the more wear you also get on your rotors so you want something a little bit more quiet if you plan on daily driving with it if you don't want to keep swapping in and out uh, the cool carbon pads are great uh, they're not too bad they have a nice bite to it and um, I also, what I also did was I got the stainless steel brake lines, which actually takes a lot of that mushy feeling once you step on it. Uh, you'll, you'll know for sure if you do any type of kind of hard driving on the car within canyons, when you really step on that pedal, you don't want it to have any type of real fade, that mushy feeling. Uh, so yeah, definitely the fourth mod I suggest. Brake pads, stainless, uh, stainless braided brake lines is a must. With that being said, let's get to the fifth. Alright, in the fifth and final mod, in my opinion, to do to this car is getting some type of uh, interior, do a little interior carbon fiber pieces or, you know, just, just to spruce it up a little bit. Uh, for me, I did go with the Competition OEM uh, Elkintara steering wheel with the yellow 12 o'clock stripe on top. Um, I also did aluminum paddles. I s swapped them out. The, the stock ones are plastic, flimsy little ones, which aren't really good looking at all. And I don't like the feel of them. Uh, I also went for the GTS Sable seats uh, with Mach Schnell Club Sport sliders. I believe that's what they're called. Uh, I do have a harness only on the driver's side for me. I don't really have passengers too much, so um, you have the stock seat belt there. Uh, I do have the row cage in it, the Studio R, sorry, row cage in yellow uh, to complement also the secondary color. And for my car, uh, that helps a lot with the stability and handling of the car you really do feel it uh, the body flex and everything when you do drive take the turn sharp this and that um, yeah I mean there's a lot of carbon interior pieces you can do you can do the trims uh, like I said the center console 
uh, little things like that. Um, but yeah, so you definitely do want that sporty look inside. You have it on the outside. You want it inside as well. You know, the uh, best of both worlds. Uh, so with that being said, there is going to be a couple honorable mentions I'd like to include. Uh, the first thing I would highly suggest you would also buy completely optional of course but it will help you out is a radar scanner now I do have the Escort IXC radar scanner in here and it, I'm telling you it works it 100% works uh, it saved me many times and the one time I didn't have it no lie I ended up getting a speedy ticket which sucked uh, so how do you suggest invest the money into it yes it costs a bit but um, it will help you out in the long run 100% I'm telling you one speeding ticket costs less than that so pick one up for sure the second honorable mention i also like to include is the halos on this car now the angel eyes uh that come stock on this car are trash honestly they're orange uh they're not that bright they're really not that good uh, i did get the lux led lighting for the angel eyes which really work pretty well um it's a lot brighter you have multiple settings you can choose from but still, even no matter how bright it is, uh, it's always the outer halos that glow the most than the insides. But it is what it is, uh, unless you get the full headlight mod. But uh, for the most part, if you want to go the less expensive route, the, the Lux lights do help. I hope you guys liked today's video. I hope you guys got a little bit something out of it. And definitely uh, the possibilities you can do, the type of mods you can do. Um, with, also with that being said, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. I'll greatly appreciate it. Help the channel grow. And um, yeah, hope all of you have a great rest of your day. Peace out till the next one.